Okay, so sometimes in life, it doesn't matter how good looking you are, how much you have in life, you just can't put a price on certain things. And one of them is your sanity. Another thing is your health. Sometimes stress can do horrible, horrible things on your body. And you always want to stay away from stress. Me? I had Bell's palsy. You know how I got that? I got that from stress. Well, we got some sad news today. I had been praying for Lauren Carter for a few weeks now. Lauren Carter and I were having a discussion and her and Nick were very happy because she was 13 weeks pregnant and I told her I knew it. I had a feeling because she had posted this picture on Instagram of her on a bike. She's holding little Odin. Looks like they were in Key West. So for a couple of videos, you see me going like this. Look back on those videos, right? Well, Nick Carter sadly said to the Twitter world today, which is why I'm doing this video now, um, that um, unfortunately, Lauren Carter miscarried their baby again. One of the last things I said to Lauren a couple of days ago, before she went on, on a, she's traveling now, was I said, I know you're having a girl. I'm always right about these things. I go, I hope you have a boy because they're so much easier and a girl will drain your energy. I go, but I know it's a girl. She didn't respond to me. And this is just a couple days ago. And I'm saying like two or three days ago. She didn't respond to that, but she responded to other stuff. Now, I did a video called Melissa Schumann is over or something. When I got, I was sitting on that couch. It was the video that I did the night I came back from Barbados, Dominican Republic. It was that trip. Was that in May, I believe? Or was it in April, May? Somewhere around that. That was when I initially started talking to Lauren Kit Carter. And she had told me that she had her second miscarriage around Christmas time. And that it was the worst Christmas because it was her second miscarriage. And I got very upset on that couch. And I asked her, I said, am I allowed to tell the his side two girls? And she said, yeah, just tell them, but leave it at that. And I told her, you know, I'm going to be praying for you. So a couple weeks ago when she told me she was 13 weeks pregnant, I told her I was going to be praying for her. She said, we're not going to announce until I get all my, my blood levels, blah, 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 and I'm at 20 weeks. She goes, this is just way too much. She goes, I'm tired of, of this girl. She was like, I don't want to hear her name. She makes me sick. And I was like, I, I don't want you to worry. I was like, we got it. We're going to handle it. She was like, I can't believe the DA is coming so long. We just want peace. She was like, you have no idea. She was like, how would you feel if your husband raped me and I had to just take it? When I, she was like, I did my own investigation. She was like, alongside of you. So for all of you people that are wondering why this woman reached out to me, it was because I was investigating. There's nothing wrong with Lauren Carter talking to me, okay? Me and Lauren had the same ideals going on what was going to happen. We were looking at the same evidence at the same time. We decided to talk about it, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with me talking to Lauren Carter than there is about me talking to the His Side 2 girls. I always ask for permission when I do a video. I always ask for permission to tell the other girls or something. If you've seen any of my recent tweets, my recent videos about Nick Carter, you'll see me going like this a lot, right? You see me going like this, like this? Look back, look on those videos. That was two for second baby. I got that from a picture that we saw of Lauren Carter sitting on a, 
a, like a scooter with Odin and she's going like this. And that's when I was like, I know she's pregnant again. Now the thing is, is really oddly, I was in my bathroom and something just hit me before she even told me that she was pregnant. I was in my bathroom. I think I was washing my shower and I said, I bet you a million dollars that girl's pregnant right now. But I didn't tell her that I thought that she was. But then in that conversation a couple weeks ago, she was. So you know what? If someone wants to do a number on you and someone really wants to cause problems in your marriage, in your life, to your body, to your mental health, to your physical health, and rob you, rob you of children, that, okay, is so devastating to a woman to go through. No, I'm not going to even make this a uh, long video. When someone's out to get you, and they want to cause havoc in your life because they want a paycheck. Well, you know something, Melissa Schumann Henschel? Are you happy? Are you happy? I already gave you some hints. People having miscarriages. I said it in those old videos. Some people may have caught on to it. I know a couple of girls did. Are you happy now? Was your claim worth it? Come on, Brooke. Let's go with all these emails. Do I have to do a video on you and pole dancer girlfriend? What you're trying to pull now? With all this bullshit crap? Melissa, are you happy with yourself? You're happy? This is who you are? This is your legacy. This is who you are. There is no apologizing to Nick and Lauren Carter after this. There wasn't any apologizing. I've been telling everybody. I've been telling the press. I have been telling Backstreet Boys fans. I have been telling everybody that watches my videos. This girl is toxic. This girl is fucking beyond evil. And I bet you a million dollars that this little demon, Melissa Schumann Henschel, is fucking laughing right now. Like she had the last laugh. She had the last laugh that she finally found her way to get revenge two more times on not only Nick, but now she got Lauren. Melissa Schumann is the saddest, most repulsive human. And I can't believe that the rest of us in society have to walk this earth with a person like her roaming around. I don't say this to many people, bitch, but I'm saying this to you now. Every fucking bad thing that happens to you, every fucking parking ticket, every time you lose a fucking cell phone, every time someone fucking hurts you, hurts your fucking feelings, everything that happens to you in your fucking future, think of me, think of Lauren Kitt, and think of fucking Nick Carter, because you fucking deserve every bad fucking thing that happens to you. Don't go fucking crying later, because all you do is fucking cry. The professional fucking victim. That is all you will ever fucking amount to. You disgusting piece of shit. That is what you are. Look at the damage that you have caused a fucking family. And not just a family, but an entire group and everybody that works for them. You want to cause problems in people's fucking marriages? You want Twitter wars all over the fucking place? Guess what? I told his side two girls, don't even bother with this girl. But what have you done? Because you're not getting the fucking attention? You're making up these fake profiles? You're a fucking cuckoo bird. There's something fucking wrong with you, okay? You need fucking professional help. I can't fucking help you. And I help a lot of fucking people, okay? 
I can't fucking help you. I don't know what's going on in that evil, sinister fucking mind of yours, but you're fucking disgusting. You are bottom of the barrel disgusting. The fact that I know you so well that you're fucking laughing about this. And you're probably saying, ha ha, karma, fuck you. I've been saying it for fucking months. You are a disgusting piece of shit. And I know that your father doesn't believe you. I know that your husband doesn't believe you. I know James Hartline doesn't believe you. And Brooke trying to get his girlfriend to come out, the pole dancer, do we all know about that? Little Miss Pole Dancer in New Zealand trying to claim that she's uh, Nick's, Nick Carter's newest victim. Not true. Caught them, squashed it. Ole trying to make this big thing. You are nothing. You're nothing. You are nothing. You're nobody. We don't fucking care about these false rape claims anymore. It's been squashed. Start. Stop your bullshit with how I get my fucking sources. Who fucking told me what? The truth is fucking out. You don't want to fucking believe that she's a girl that fucking moans when she sucks cock? Ask her husband. He would know. She even denied Gregory, what, two weeks ago? We're talking to a fucking professional liar, honey. And she's got sisters. She's got people that are related to her. This girl is just slimy as they fucking come. You know what, Nick Carter? Oh, my God, you have been through fucking hell and back. And not only that, but I'm sorry to say this to you, Nick Carter, but you and your wife are going to constantly feel like you have to crawl through a pit of fucking snakes with people. I think that the trust issues that you're going to have with these people that want something from Nick is gonna be really, really tough. And you're gonna have to be super protective over that little boy. And you know what? It's sad that things like this happen, that you had to lose two babies because of Melissa Schumann and what she tried to impose on your family. And I know how rough it's been. A lot of people don't want to think that you guys went through anything. There are still people out there that believe that I kind of made this shit up in my head. Oh, yeah. I think there are. I think people think that I imagined it. Yeah. I guess my reputation speaks for itself. I've been right about everything else because I have a lawyer who looks at all my videos, tells me what I can put on and what I can't put on, now, would I willingly get on YouTube and tell the world what I know, what I've been told, what I've been shown, what I've seen, if it wasn't 100% truth? Come on, people. Do I need to show screenshots of everything I know? Do I need to put recorded conversations on YouTube? I can't put recorded conversations on YouTube. Doesn't mean I don't have them, okay? Melissa Schumann, you out fucking did yourself again. Everything bad coming your way is so well deserved. So well deserved. I don't have many enemies and I, use, I don't wish bad things on anybody, but man, you got that evil eye coming at you and I don't usually give that evil eye pretty freely, but guess what? It ain't just from me. It's coming. It's coming. And you've got women that are going to be so angry when they hear this, that you've done this. You'll see. That's all I have to say. And for everyone else there that has a heart and some compassion, I want you to please ignore Melissa Schumann, okay? She's done enough hurt to this family in the past 10 months, then Satan has inflicted on people this fucking past weekend, okay? I mean, this girl is pure, rotten evil. And the, and the bitch has the nerve to call herself a Christian. Baby, if you're a Christian, 
Shit. Shit. Whoa. You insult Christians, okay? Don't be stepping into no church. Because you know what? If you start getting doused with gasoline, you deserve it, honey. You're a piece of shit. Say a prayer. Everyone, say a prayer for Lauren Kit Carter. Say a prayer for Odin. Say a prayer for Nick Carter. Because I guarantee you, Nick Carter is probably in tears tonight. Are you happy, Melissa? I bet you are. Pretty sure you're fucking happy.